In this vlog, I will be talking about how you can take a ferry from New York City to Hoboken in New Jersey. Afterwards, I'll be walking around the ferry terminal and the nearby waterfront area. You'll start at Brookfield Place. Brookfield Place is situated in the financial district of Lower Manhattan in New York City along the Hudson River waterfront. Its address is 230 BC Street. The complex is formerly known as World Financial Center and was built in the 1980s as part of the redevelopment of the World Trade Center area. Brookfield Place features a variety of upscale shops, boutiques, and restaurants. It's known for its high-end shopping and dining options, as well, for, as well as its waterfront views. The complex is easily accessible by public transportation with several subway lines and the PATH train station nearby. The Battery City Ferry Terminal is a passenger ferry terminal in Battery City in Manhattan. It serves ferries along the Hudson River in New York City and northeastern New Jersey. It provides slips to ferries, water taxis, and sightseeing boats in the port of New York and New Jersey. The terminal is primarily served by commuter ferries owned by New York Waterway, which refers to the terminal as Brookfield Place slash Bowery Park City, and Liberty Landing Ferry, which refers to it as World Financial Center. Both of these names refer to Brookfield Place. Regular ferry service between Lower Manhattan and the village of Conopau in today's Jersey City dates back to at least 1661, with the founding of the Conopau Ferry during the Dutch colonial period. The Jersey City Ferry began service in 1764 between Palace Hook and Messier Dock, which was located at the foot of Cortland Street. Both ferries continued to operate into the 19th and 20th century and docked at the Liberty Street Ferry Terminal and Cortland Street Ferry Depot. When these ferry slips were closed in 1950 and 1960, they were demolished and the slips were filled to create Battery Park City. In 1986, New York Waterway restarted ferry service across Hudson River. A ferry slip opened at Battery Park City in 1989 with the intentions of reducing rush hour crowds at past stations serving the World Trade Center station. Taking the ferry from New York to New Jersey is a great way to get a glimpse of the New York City skyline. The New York City skyline is one of the most iconic and recognizable skylines in the world. It is characterized by a stunning collection of skyscrapers, historic landmarks, and architectural mar marvels. And architectural marvels. When checking the schedule for the ferry, the route you want to look up is downtown slash Brookfield Place to Hoboken slash NJ Terminal. The fare for a one-way trip is $7 per adult. On the weekends, it's $6 per adult. On the weekdays, the first ferry departs at 6.10 a.m., while the last ferry departs at 7.10 p.m. On the weekends, the first ferry starts at 10.20 a.m., while the last ferry departs at 8 p.m. Trip.com provides a one-stop travel booking service in 20 languages through their website and mobile app. With more than 1.2 million hotels in 200 countries and regions, Trip.com has built an extensive hotel network to give their customers a fantastic choice of accommodations, and their far-reaching flight network has over 2 million individual flight routes that connects more than 5,000 cities around the globe. Use Trip.com to plan your trip to New York City and other places worldwide.
WeGoTrip.com is an online service for booking audio excursions and tours in 35 different countries in different languages. Travelers can take audio excursions provided by professional tour guides and local experts. Customers can book excursions on the website and get them instantaneously. Use my link to find self-guided audio tours of New York City using WeGoTrip. An enduring symbol of New York City, the Empire State Building was the tallest building in the world when completed in 1931. It is known for its distinctive Art Deco design and has observation decks offering panoramic views of the city. Another Art Deco masterpiece, the Chrysler Building, is famous for its distinctive spire. It was, com it was completed in 1930 and remains an architectural icon. The Flatiron Building is another standout building on the New York City skyline. This triangular shaped building was completed in 1902. It is known for its unique design and it was one of the city's earliest skyscrapers. One World Trade Center, also known as the Freedom Tower, is the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere and stands at the site of the original World Trade Center. One World Trade Center was completed in 2013 and symbolizes the resilience and freedom. Different parts of New York City, such as Midtown Manhattan, Lower Manhattan, and Downtown Brooklyn, have their unique skylines reflecting their distinct architectural structures and urban planning. The Colgate Clock is an octagonal clock facing the Hudson River near Exchange Place in Jersey City. The clock has a diameter of 50 feet. It was located atop of what was once the headquarters of the Colgate Polymiv until 1985 when it was moved to ground level location 1,030 feet, 1,300 feet south of that building, which was demolished and replaced with the Goldman Sachs Tower. The Colgate clock once perched atop the Colgate plant at 85 to 99 Hudson Street in Jersey City. The clock was built in 1924 to replace an earlier clock designed by Colgate engineer Warren Davi and constructed by Seth Thomas Clock Company for Colgate's centennial in 1906. Hoboken Terminal is an important commuter terminal in Hoboken, one of New York metropolitan area's major transportation hubs. It is served by nine New Jersey Transit commuter rail lines, one Metro North Railroad line, various NJ Transit buses, the Hudson Bergen Light Rail, the Path Rapids Transit System, and New York Waterway operated ferries. More than 5,000 people use this terminal daily, making it the ninth busiest railroad station in North America and the sixth busiest in the New York area. It is also the second busiest railroad station in New Jersey behind only Newark Penn Station and is the third busiest transportation facility after Newark Liberty International Airport and Newark Penn Station. The rail and ferry terminals were constructed in 1907. By 1973, the terminal building was added to the New Jersey Register of Historic Places and the National Register of Historic Places. A book and terminal is considered a milestone in American transportation development, initially combining rail, ferry, subway, streetcar, and pedestrian services. Later, bus and light rail services were added to the terminals. Another feature of the terminal's design is the terminal's 225-foot clock tower. The tower was replaced by a radio tower that stood for more than half a century until being removed in June of 2006, when it was replaced by a new clock tower modeled after the original. Sambo is the fastest growing global platform for boat rentals, enabling curious travelers and seasoned sailors to experience the joy of being at sea. Customers can compare thousands of listings in seconds and book the perfect boat rental at the best price. Use my link in the description to find the perfect boat rental. With Kiwi's unique algorithm, Kiwi is able to create combinations of flights, train, and bus tickets and offer them in one single itinerary. 
Kiwi's user-friendly design helps travelers easily navigate through the site and create the best possible combinations of travel options. With an extensive database of low-cost flights and traditional airlines, an interactive map, and more, you can use Kiwi.com to find great fares. Use my links to find flights on Kiwi.com. The Hoboken Waterfront is a picturesque and vibrant area along the western edge of Hoboken, facing the Hudson River and offering stunning views of the Manhattan skyline. The Hoboken Waterfront features a beautiful walkway along the Hudson River known as the Hoboken Waterfront Walkway. This pedestrian path allows residents and visitors to enjoy scenic views of the river and Manhattan skyline. One of the main attractions of the Hoboken Waterfront is the breathtaking views it offers of the Manhattan skyline at sunset. This view has made it a popular site for photography and romantic walks. The waterfront area is dotted with parks and green spaces, including a Pier A Park and Pier C Park. These Parks offer recreational areas, playgrounds, and open spaces for picnics, parks, sports, and relaxation. The waterfront area boosts a variety of restaurants, bars, and cafes with outdoor seating, allowing patrons to dine while enjoying the scenic views. It is a popular spot for waterfront dining and nightlife. If you haven't tried taking a ferry from New Jersey to New York City, I would highly suggest it because not only is it a cheap and efficient way to travel, you get to see incredible views, you get to see incredible views of both New York and New Jersey. <laughs> 